with Marvin Harrison Jr. That's one of the matchups that Ohio State certainly can win. The 37th unanimous All-American in Ohio State history. You know, he basically broke the robotic quarterback in their football building this year, catching so many passes. So Over the middle, Harrison Jr. again, down the sideline, Maserati Mar. It's Harrison. Marvin Harrison, touchdown. Marvin Harrison Jr. waltzes in. He is going to split a double team just like his pops used to do. On August 11th, 2002, Marvin Harrison Jr. was born in Philadelphia. His father, Marvin Harrison Sr., was a Hall of Fame wide receiver for the Indianapolis Colts. So as most of you all know, Harrison Jr. was around the game of football his whole life, but he actually played both basketball and football growing up. And it wasn't until high school where he decided he wanted to focus his career entirely into football. He attended LaSalle College High School as a freshman before transferring to St. Joseph's Preparatory School, and Marv was always a dominant athlete. He didn't really have one of those super sad upbringings that a lot of famous athletes had. He was always under the spotlight. At St. Joseph's, he would help lead the team to three consecutive state championships while setting Philadelphia Catholic League career records with 2,625 receiving yards and 37 receiving touchdowns. And he did all of this with Kyle McCord, who we all know ended up playing with him at Ohio State in college. So coming out of high school, Harrison was a four-star prospect ranked as the nation's 14th best receiver recruit. He committed to play college football at Ohio State University over offers from Florida, Michigan, Penn State, LSU. Notre Dame, Texas A&M, and his father's alma mater, Syracuse. Something that many people were easily able to point out when watching Marvin Harrison Jr. is his work ethic. He literally would sit in front of a throwing machine for hours and just catch balls and throw them back. He was always looking for ways to improve in every detail of the game. And combining that with his drive and crazy genetics, he's made himself into one of the most hyped non-QB prospects of the decade. And in most cases, he would probably be the number one pick. Anyways, going back to 2021, which was Harrison's freshman year for Ohio State, Harrison appeared in 12 games but wasn't a starter. Regardless, he still managed to haul in 11 passes for 139 yards for an average gain of 12.6 yards per reception and three touchdowns. So he showed his potential right out of the gate and the fans and coaching staff were very excited for what was to come his following sophomore season. And in that season, he absolutely dominated and had a great chemistry with CJ Stroud behind center. He put up 1,623 yards with an average of over 16 yards per catch and 14 touchdowns. His career at Ohio State was nearly flawless, but there was just one problem. His team couldn't beat Michigan. And if you know anything about this rivalry, that is not acceptable. But even with his second straight Michigan loss, Ohio State ended up sneaking into the college football playoff with the four seed. And they matched up against Georgia in one of the most legendary games of the season. The Buckeyes offense played a very strong game and should have won, and go to the championship, but Noah Ruggles completely shanked the kick as soon as the clock struck midnight for the new year. So that was the end of that, and now Harrison entered his junior season as the captain of the team, and he was going to have a new QB under center in Kyle McCord, who was actually his high school QB as I said earlier. But things didn't work out as well as they would have hoped. McCord just wasn't a great QB at that level. He wasn't bad, but he was no CJ Stroud. And it was up to Marv to bail him out of tough situations time and time again. I think the outlook of this season would have been a lot different if the Michigan game would have ended differently, but ultimately, they just didn't have enough. And everyone knew Harrison was going to go to the draft. Marv is currently projected to be a top 5 pick in the draft, but to me, he's the most talented guy available on the board, but I know a lot of franchises are looking for a QB, so it will be interesting to see how it plays out. Overall, Marvin Harrison Jr. just has an incredible work ethic unlike any player we have ever seen. Thank you all so much if you made it to this point, and if you enjoyed and haven't yet, make sure to drop a like and subscribe because your support truly means the world. And until next time, I will see you all later.